government and industry are investing billions of dollars into sustainable initiatives. The number of jobs in the field continues to grow. But in academia, there are still relatively few options available for students who want to pursue this 21st century career. Our news, Leah George and photojournalist Chris Coffey take us to a local university that recently got state approval for one such program. A lot of people would like to, uh, you know, let's save the environment. Well, how exactly are you going to do this? And uh, what are the kind of skills you're going to need? Students in RIT's new PhD program in sustainability plan to find answers. Well, right now we're trying to look at uh, replacing um, non-renewable sources of conducting materials with a renewable source, say single wall carbon nanotubes. And doing that uh, economically and sustainably is a huge challenge. Chris Showerman and Matt Ganter are two of four students enrolled in the state's first doctoral program in sustainable production. And these are materials that are on the nano scale, but we're actually using these light techniques to actually figure out something that we actually couldn't see with a microscope per se. Their backgrounds are in physics and materials research. Their futures could include developing sustainable energy systems for communities, industry, and government. And hopefully some of the work I'll be doing will be uh, really beneficial to um, actually updating the nation's power grid. RIT's graduate program in sustainability will build on the university's expertise in technology. But this program is different in that it's expected to draw students with a broad range of backgrounds. Uh, it really takes this kind of interdisciplinary team-based approach to solving some of these big problems. Dr. Raffelli says at RIT's Galisano Institute of Sustainability, PhD students will tackle some of the biggest challenges of our time, like raw materials research, global warming, and energy. These are the kinds of things that we're equipping these new generation of students to deal with, you know, to really go out there and be change agents. It's pretty exciting, and at the same time, uh, there's a lot of pressure. Leah George, our news.